Hello friends, welcome to software testing help and the tutorial on Spock. In this tutorial, we will learn about integrating Selenium based tests with the Spock framework. As part of the agenda, we will cover understanding a sample Selenium test written in JUnit and we will also try writing an equivalent test using the Spock framework. So let's get started. I have written a sample selenium based test using the JUnit framework and opened in the IntelliJ editor. Let's first see what all is there in the build.gradle file in terms of dependencies. We have the JUnit testing framework as the test compiled dependency. Apart from that the selenium dependency as we'll use the selenium library and the standard Groovy and Spock framework libraries for writing tests in Spock. Let's first try to understand what a test will do. So this is a simple test to illustrate Selenium using JUnit. We'll visit the Google home page and we'll enter a search query and hit the search button. And as part of a session, we will assert that the title of the resultant search page contains the search query that we search for. So on this JUnit test, you can see there are three main steps that is arrange, act and assert. In the arrange step, we, we have declared the URL and the web elements that we will be using in the test. In the act step, we will be sending the actual keys to the query text box and pushing the search button. And as part of assertion, we'll assert the title of the resultant search page. We have also used setup and cleanup methods to instantiate the Chrome driver instance, as well as in cleanup, we'll close the instance. Also, you can see that I have added the Chrome driver executable in the root of the project itself. So we don't need to mention it in the system property because it's already there in the default class path. So let's try writing the same test using the Spock framework. I'll add a new Groovy class. Let me name it as Selenium sample Selenium spec. And as we know that we need to extend it with the specification class. I'll write setup spec and cleanup spec method bodies as we have done in JUnit. And this will be the main test body. And this there will be three main blocks given when and then. Also, I'll declare a web driver instance. In the setup spec, I'll instantiate it to a new Chrome driver instance. And in the cleanup step, I'll just check if the driver instance is not null. We can go ahead and close this instance. So for rest of the test, we can simply use the code that we already have so i'll copy the code from the arrange block and paste it in given let's import the required libraries as well as we know spock tests do not need semicolons they are optional but yes let's remove them so that we don't get these warnings and then the act in the when block and finally the assertion step so you can see that it's quite similar to what we wrote using JUnit but it's a lot more readable in terms of the BDD style of the Spock framework but in terms of code you can very well go ahead and reuse the 
all the existing code that you have and similar to setup and cleanup methods there in JUnit you have setup spec and cleanup spec in Spock so let's try running this and see if this passes or not there are no compile errors and we'll see whether it's able to instantiate the driver instance it opens the Google home page enters the query text hits the search button and closes the driver you can see that our test has passed similarly if you also run this JUnit test you'll get the same result essentially it's quite easy to port all your existing JUnit tests that are using Selenium based libraries using Spock and they can be ported and you can reuse all your existing code so that's it for this tutorial thank you